Hello everyone, this is a demonstration of my final project for Harvard CS50 web programming with Python and JavaScript and Codecademy's Django skill path. I created a restaurant manager and I named it Django Delights. All right, so my main focus for this project was improving my front end design skills. I decided to learn how to use Figma and create a mock-up for this project. So I made my initial mock-up here for my login, register, and main interface pages. And as you can see, here is the end result. At the top left, we have the Django Delights logo. And to the right of that, we have the three navigation links, home, logout, and contact. Now I'll go ahead and go over the main features of the app. But we have four interfaces here. This is a single page web app. So I'm using JavaScript to communicate with an API for the menu section. We have a bunch of menu items here. And at the top of the page, we have a form which enables us to add a new menu item to the menu. So I'll go ahead and scroll down and show you all of the menu items. I'll press on one. And as you can see, when I press on the menu item, I get taken to another page which shows me the requirements the, for this recipe in terms of all of the ingredients I need and also a button that says view instructions which if I click on and open a new tab I'll be taken to the official recipe page for that item. Once again I'll go ahead and open up another item just to demonstrate how this works. As you can see here are all of the recipe requirements. And I can press view instructions, open up a new page, and see the official recipe page. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate how I can add a new recipe to this menu. Alright, this one looks good right here, this caramel cake. So I'm going to click on this recipe. And what I'll do is I'll copy the image URL for this and paste it right here. I'll copy the recipe URL, paste it in and I'll just type in caramel cake and let's set it for $15. So I'm going to press add now and I can scroll to the bottom of the page and as you can see there is my new recipe. And now I'm going to show you the inventory interface for this web app. It's very similar to the menu interface in that there is a post form at the top of the interface. So this displays all of the ingredients that we have in stock. As you can see, we have orange jelly, organic large eggs, cane sugar, and so on. And next to each ingredient, there is a delete button. In order to add an ingredient to my inventory, I'll go back to this recipe, copy one of the ingredients here. So let's copy flaked almonds. And let's add 500 grams. And let's enter a unit price of three cents. And now if I scroll to the bottom of this page, as you can see, there's my new ingredient, flaked almonds, 500 grams in stock, three cents per unit. And now to demonstrate the delete feature, if I just press the delete button next to flaked almonds, it'll be deleted. And even if I refresh the page and go back to inventory now, as you can see, it's no longer here. All right, so now I'm going to demonstrate the purchases interface. So if you press on this purchase input box, you'll see all of the menu items for this restaurant. So I can go ahead and select one. And to the right of that, there's an input calendar menu. So you can select the date here and the time. So after I pressed add, the purchase was added to my purchases interface. As you can see, chocolate fudge pops was purchased on October 21st, 2021 at 2.44 p.m. UTC. In the finances interface, we have three calculations. The profit were actually negative $31.59. Our total revenue, which is $74.50, and also the expenses, $106.09. The expenses are automatically calculated uh, by the ingredients and all of the prices for each individual recipe. As you can see, here is the mobile interface for this app. It is completely mobile responsive. As you can see, all of the menu items get sorted vertically as well.
So that's all for this project. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.